Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Naomi and today I have something really fun for you. I have a really quick practice to help you revive your yoga and movement practice. So one simple way to bring life back to a practice that might feel kind of stale or stuck in a rut or just as a way to explore new options in the way that you get moving on your mat. So if that sounds like fun for you, stick around and I will see you on the other side. Okay. So coming up toward the front of your mat, okay? Fingertips touch the ground, forward bend. Your knees can bend, and we're about to go into half moon. So if you know that you need blocks for half moon, make sure that they are up toward the front of the mat with you, okay? But just take a few breaths here in your forward bend. Let your head be heavy. And this is a really good place to stretch out your back after doing all of that side body work. Oh. Okay, then move your left hand slightly to the left. Shift your weight into your left leg, but rather than swinging your hip out to the side, firm it up toward the center. You can keep your right fingertips kind of equidistant right now between your left and your right foot. And then lift your right leg up for a half moon. Turn your right foot out. And when you're ready, right hand to your hip. Okay, squeeze your heels toward one another. Pull your left butt underneath you. And if you choose, right arm goes up. And keep your right hand at your hip too. Good. Then lower your right hand and your right leg. Come back into your forward bend. Again, your knees can bend a little bit here as you hang over your legs. Oh. Okay, then second side. Right hand goes slightly forward into the right of your right foot. You want to shift your weight into your right leg, but not so much that you swing your hip out to the side. Okay, left hand can go in between and slightly ahead of your two feet as you lift your left leg up. Turn your left foot out. Squeeze your heels toward one another as you bring your left hand to your hip. Pull your right butt underneath you so that you can lift the right side of your belly up. Maybe extend your left arm up, maybe not. Good. And then lower your left hand down, left foot down, and fold. Maybe even sway your hips a little bit from side to side. Yeah. Good. Push down through your legs. Come all the way up to stand. Okay. And then standing on, let's see which, yeah, standing on your left leg, lift your right knee up. As you lift your right knee up, be really mindful to keep neutral pelvis here. So what that means is you're just not swinging your hips forward. You want to keep your pelvis relatively level. You can even see if you could lift your knee up higher and then lower your right foot down and then lift left knee up. And I'm just lifting my hands up so you have a better visual. You don't have to put your hands on your head. Oh yes, it's a good puppy trying to jump up on her leg. Yes. <laughs> She's like, no, put your leg down. <laughs> put your leg down. I love it. <laughs> the dog, she like lifted her leg. And the dog grabbed onto her calf and like pulled it down to the ground. That was amazing. Okay, now, <laughs> it's phenomenal. Okay, so now I've backed into a corner in my room because we're going to walk with that knee lift, okay, around in circles or forward and back. It doesn't matter. I mean, like I went into the corner to give myself space, but all you're going to do is just lift and lower lift and lower as you walk. Now I have my hands on my belly, front of my pelvis, just to help remind me to maintain neutral pelvis. You could go forward and back like I am right now. Okay, you could walk in circles. 
you could take your arms, like I had my hands on my belly, but you don't have to. You can just lift and walk. Okay. Okay, and I think there's something too, and you can come on back to where you started. Okay, I think there's something too, the difference between lifting your leg and holding that kind of balance, which is static, it's endurance, right? And a dynamic balance where you know that you're gonna put your foot down, <laughs> right? <laughs> like you know, this isn't forever, you're just walking. And so for me, there's a little bit of a different mindset. I'm not worried about holding something. I know, okay, this is what I'm doing. Okay, as opposed to I'm gonna hold this and hold it and hold it and hold it and just see how long I can do it. It's different. One isn't better than the other, okay? Now we're gonna take that same dynamic balance into half moon, right? So remember in half moon, we started initially just coming from <laughs> the ground up from Uttanasana and lifting a leg. Now, instead of that, you're actually going to step into it, reach down, open, and then step, reach down and up. And you might notice that as I am doing this, right, I can go forward and back and you can do that too. So you can go forward, boom, forward, boom, and then back and open, but you can also walk in circles. We're gonna do this for about two minutes, okay? So I wanna give you the opportunity to just play with the different movements that feel good for you. Yes, please walk with your block if you need it, okay? But remember, you're not aiming to hold it and like, boom, perfect pose. It's you step into it, you take it, and then you come out of it and go into the next one. Okay, so not a lot of instruction for me on this. We're just gonna move, okay? Any questions before we go? Okay, so come toward the back of your space, especially if you're gonna start going forward and back. Okay, I'm starting on my right foot, so you could also start on your right foot if you like, but you can step forward. Bend your knee as you reach down and lift your leg up, boom and then switch your legs. The leg that's lifted swings down and you reach up. So you might try going forward and then back first. You don't need to take very big steps here. <laughs> but remember you can also walk in a circle so you can try stepping out to the side so that you're not necessarily trying to go backward, but just play. And then start to make your way back to where you started. <laughs> Whee! <sighs> All right. Now, how did that feel? <sighs> yeah? I think it's worth, after doing that, doing one more half moon, just to feel the difference between a static half moon right? Not static. It's always going to have movement. But yeah, so give it a shot. Doesn't matter which leg you do first. Okay, but you can come from Uttanasana or from standing. Lift one leg up. And open. And then do the other side. And just notice what that difference feels like for you. You might even like after doing 
the dynamic movement one, you might go into the one where you are holding it and say, oh, that actually, like after doing it, walking and moving, that one actually feels really good too. Or you might totally hate one <laughs> and really love the other because that doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like whatever your answer is doesn't actually matter to me. I'm not invested in being right about something here. Like what I'm interested in is like what works for you. <laughs> like what makes you enjoy playing with balance, not like what confirms my bias. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, movement is so incredibly individual. <laughs> okay. Um, and you can do this with so many poses. You can do this with warrior three. You could do this with, you know, dancer pose. You could do this with tree pose. You can do it with any balancing pose you want. You could do it with warrior two if you want, right? Like you can step into warrior two, step into warrior two, right? You can do this in whatever pose you want. Hold warrior two, boom. Hold warrior two, boom. Okay, so you can play with it in whatever pose you want. And I think that, you know, it's like, how do you revitalize your practice? Change up the way that you do different poses, okay? But we're all done with that, with our walking half moons. Come back up to stand, grab your block, okay? Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I hope that was fun for you. I know it is fun for me to look at poses that I'm really familiar with and say, how can I change things up a little bit? How can I approach my practice with new eyes or approach poses that I do all the time, exercises that I do all the time with just a new energy? a new way of moving. So when you think about a pose like half moon, usually you are balancing on one leg and the other leg is extended, but this way of approaching it says, well, what if you moved it? What if you did some half moon walking, right? Same with any other pose and it doesn't have to be a balancing pose. So at the very end, you saw me show, well, what if you just stepped into warrior two and then stepped into warrior two again, instead of just holding it. And what I think is really cool about that approach is that actually you can then compare and contrast them to one another. So you can do that step into warrior two, step into warrior two, and then you can take your legs wide apart, take warrior two and hold it and feel the difference in your body. And sometimes just that awareness of, oh, this is different can be inspiring and be energizing, right? It can give you a new way of looking at movement or a new way of looking at a very particular way of movement, right? Yoga tends to be, you know, endurance based. Let's hold this pose for a specific length of time and then let's hold this other one, right? Or flow based where you're moving from one pose to another fluidly. And both I think have a lot of value. But what if you just take the same pose and step around in it, move in different ways in it? Like, I think that all of those have value. And if you're doing one more than the other, then looking at it in a different way gives you options. So I hope this opened up your practice a little bit today. And as always, if you enjoy this, what you saw today was a snippet of my online studio, Move With Naomi. So I recorded this class live with the folks in my online studio. That's why you see me talking to somebody about a dog grabbing her foot down from that standing pose because I was watching it happen in real time. Now, if doing these practices with me just like this on YouTube is perfect for you, then awesome. I'm glad you're here. If you want the opportunity to practice live with me online, then check out the link in the description below and you will see a coupon code to join for 50% off for your first two months, which basically means you're getting an entire month for free, which I think is a pretty good deal. So if you want to join me and move, definitely use that coupon code and I will see you on the mat there. But no matter where you choose to practice with me, thank you for being here and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then.